Welcome. All right, so what I'd like to do is show you how to solve a quadratic um, by applying our difference of two squares. Now, hopefully you have at least an idea of how to you know, factor using a quadratic. And a lot of times, you know, what we look at is if we have a quadratic or a difference of two squares, what we say you know, in this form, a squared minus b squared, um, then we can factor that out into a minus b times a plus b. So how are we going to solve this? You know, how are we going to do this when to solve? Well, first of all, we're going to have to have a quadratic. So let's just say um, y equals, and I'll just give a, a basic demonstration. I'll actually do a couple. Let's do x squared minus 9. All right. So the first thing we're solving, obviously, we want to make sure we're going to set our um, uh, dependent variable set equal to 0. So therefore, I have x squared minus 9. Then what we want to do is factor this set into it. Now, by applying the difference of two squares, we want to see you know, if a squared minus b squared, can we write this in terms of two squared terms subtracted from each other, which I can. Therefore, I can say a equals x and b equals 3. Now, I can write this in my factored form based on the quadratic, or based on the property for difference of two squares. And then I now can apply my difference of two squares. So once I have the product set equal to 0, I can now set these equal to 0. And therefore, I can say x equals 3 and x equals negative 3. And what's nice about solving with the difference of two squares is you know, you're always going to have the negative and the positive. So when you're getting into a problem, let's just say this one, you know, 4x squared uh, minus 16, well, when I go ahead and factor this, all right, so I apply the difference of two squares. We'll all go through a lot of different examples for this. But when I go through the difference of two squares, I can rewrite this as 2x squared, um, or sorry, 2x minus 4, and then 2x plus 4. Well, what's nice about this is once I solve one, I know the other one's going to be the exact same answer, but just the opposite value. Um, if one's positive, then the other one has to be negative. So I'll just do one, negative 2x minus 4 equals 0. So I add 4, add 4. 2x equals 4, divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 2. Well, I can solve this other one, but I just know that's going to be the exact same thing, but just now the opposite value again, as I mentioned. So that's at least an idea of how to solve the difference of two squares. We're going to be using the factoring technique of this. And really, the only difference between factoring and solving by factoring is applying the zero product property at the end. Thanks.